episode of uncharted we are here there is a brand new update today it is so crazy so much going on at spawn people are just everywhere it's been about an hour since the update i kind of wanted stuff to calm down a little bit but we have so many new things so much crazy things we do have pearls who is throwing excuse me someone just okay thanks i'm gonna take that let's just drop that spawn thank you sweet deal Okay, so tons of new things. First off, daily quests. I think this is awesome because I definitely... Ooh, the whole GUI changed. Look at the shiny one. The shiny gold block for active quests. We have 13 quests that are active right now, which is a little crazy. We have a lot to do. Um, we did uh, finish killing our creepers, which was really cool. So now we have to kill five zombies while I am at half a heart remaining, which is going to be a little bit rough. A little bit rough, but we'll, we'll find it. We do have our buccaneer... Uh, quest line that's still going on find five treasures with the burial skill on any uh, shovel which he does give you an iron shovel to get that challenge done so we do have to do that mine 16 diamonds in the open sea some chests kill people find and speak to the collector we still haven't done that kill some players apparently we killed one player uh oh who did we kill i'm so sorry whoever i killed uh we did get 3250 gold one at the casino which is something that's just going to be continuously ongoing when i finally do accomplish that uh, I'll let you guys see it. Buy the following from the plunder vendor. We're sitting on about just enough pearls to do what we want to do today. So we might not be able to get our treasure restock pass, but we'll try by the end of the episode if we can. Um, I had to, I was trying to sell some logs to the builder vendor and he had a new challenge. So break a hundred of any of the following dirt, grass or sand. But this is the really cool thing and the brand new thing. There are 10 daily quests and every day at midnight Eastern time, this quest will reset and you will get three. You get three quests per day of the 10. You can actually make suggestions on the forums for different quests. If you, you know, think there's something out there that you'd like to do like this quest, find and speak to the miner. It can't be that hard. Mine 64 lapis ore in the open seas and mine 48 iron ore in the open seas. Pretty cool. We've completed 16 quests, which is pretty impressive. And there's still 15 quests we haven't discovered. So we're like only halfway, which is pretty awesome. I did show off back here. This flight guy yesterday, his name was Wings. His name is still Wings. He's a cutie pie, but you basically can buy flight. Now for me, I have forever because I'm an admiral rank, but like 200 pearls, I think it is for one day of flight on your island, which is actually a lot. You can get a lot of stuff done in one day. I mean, I built my entire potato farm, cactus farm, and sugarcane farm in roughly 24 hours of work. Not even, I'd say like maybe, maybe 10 hours of work. So well worth the effort. Um, tons. Oh my God. There's just so much stuff. So the one thing I did notice, and I actually asked Turk about it right away is I have four rewards on my side screen under Miss Gladiator. So I was like, oh, why do I have four rewards? I've claimed all my seven. So I actually have the reward sitting here is our daily login, which is a brand new feature. And we also have three monthly rank crates to open because of our Admiral ranks. So we get privateer captain and Admiral, which is gonna be a lot of fun. So much stuff going on. I do want to go find our daily login man. Now I was wrong about this loot hoarder guy, but I'm actually super excited that this is actually a daily login. You can get anything from gold, quest XP, bonus items, plus weekly pearls. So every seven days, every seventh login in a row, every single day, you cannot miss a day or you restart, you will also get pearls, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna right click them. Day one rewards, we get 50 gold for today. Oh my goodness upcoming gold rewards on day two we get 100 day three 150 day four 200 so we get plus 50 gold per day up to 500 that's pretty sweet if we're logging in daily and we're getting a 500 gold boost every day that's five you know five bets on the casino which is pretty cool we also get free xp every second day and it goes in increments of six it looks like plus three xp every other day up to 25 not too bad free items we get an unidentified essence what is it un what's an essence We've had runes, we've had gems. I don't think we've ever had an essence, unless it's like one or the other, but free items every third and fifth day, which is pretty cool. And then free pearls, 100 free pearls every seven days. So after two weeks, you can just buy yourself a free restock pass from the shop. So we'll take our day one rewards, 50 gold. We'll have to log in tomorrow and get day two, which is available in 19 hours. So it's a 20 hour cooldown. Pretty cool. I prefer the 24 hour cooldown for the sake. Buccaneer, what are you doing here? Sir, I'll have to come back for you. What 
are you doing over here? But um, as I was saying, I prefer 24 hours as far as recording goes, because eventually you're going to start having to redeem this in the middle of the night if you want to redeem it right as it resets so that you don't miss it. But now we do have three rewards left on the sidebar, which is pretty cool. Speaking of the Buccaneer running around over here, the Buccaneer is now an NPC running around because I still have a quest line with him, and I'd like to be able to boost him, boost my kit with him, so he definitely still has to be available on the server, but he's right over here in the trading post area near the gold blocks, which is pretty cool, and our brand new guy is here, Mr. Scorcher. I love the skin choice. Very cool. He does come with two new skills, Ignite and Smelt. Smelt, obviously, for... Um, you can smelt, like, if you're trying to pick up sand, it could smelt to glass or iron ingots to iron or iron ore to iron ingots, which is pretty cool. My only question is, do you still need to put insight on the pick if it's smelting? Do you get experience from that smelting action? Because that's the whole point of putting your ores into a furnace is you get experience from it. At least that's my point of it, which is fine. But it does also come with, now I can see it, right? Right click to preview contents. This is level one, I'm going to assume. Yes, let's go to level 10. Raging both the sea gems. That's pretty cool. A bunch of potions. Recall elixir is very useful. Aquatic brews are now super, super useful because it extinguishes flames and grants resistance to fire for five minutes and ability to breathe underwater for two. I'm not sure why you'd want to breathe underwater unless you're like trying to get out of the war zone. Maybe you're hiding, but definitely extinguishing flames because the new potion, bonfire potion, for the next 60 seconds, all of your melee and ranged attacks will also inflict fire, which is scary and terrible. And you get two of them in the kit at level 10, so it's a little intense, but you do get an ignite skill gem and a smelt skill gem. What? At what point do you actually get that? Oh, we got the smelt at tier 5. No, currently showing tier 6. And then the ignite happens at tier 7. Okay. That's really interesting. I definitely want to open one. We have enough pearls for it. We might not have enough pearls to boost our kit, though. So we're going to have to figure out a way to get more pearls. But we're definitely going to go open Sorcerer. I'm a little nervous. But I'm up for doing it. We have enough. It costs 2100. We'll be like, well, 50 pearls extra. That's fine. So unlock XP bonus. When you unlock Sorcerer, it will instantly be given a random amount of a kit XP. Okay, so we've done this before. Same idea. It could be anywhere from level 1 to level 10 here we go. I'm ready. We'll have 50 pearls left over. We're going to be pouring pearls, but that's okay. Let's try this out anyway. Buccaneer. Oh, it still says Buccaneer. Guys, guys, that should say Scorcher. Because I don't want the Buccaneer. Buy, unlock. See, down here it says unlock kit Scorcher. So you guys have it right down here. We just got to change the uh, text up there. But anyway, three, two, one. Please be high level. Oh, level five. Yes, that is really good. Zero out of 50 XP on level five. Freaking epic. Boosting it is 1,050. I think we're not going to open it yet. Just in case that we have any way of getting more pearls, we might boost it today before we open it and find out what we get. I mean, I think we can still... Let's see if we can still see the kit. Right click to preview the contents. And this is level five. So we do get the smelt skill gem, which I definitely really want, but we're going to have to get it up to level seven to get that new ignite skill gem but that's fine we do get a bonfire smelt plus five on the diamond pick we'll need to add multiply on that potentially we'll see what happens i want to see if multiply stacks with smelt and works with smelt combustion endurance plus one on three pieces that's not bad it's not bad let's go see let's go see because the next huge thing that's in the game is the rank kits where are they they're near the trading post yes it's up the stairs from up towards the casino here we go. Rank crates, free items every month. It's actually every 30 days, which is really cool. We get rank crates and rank kits. Now, depending on which rank you have, depends on how many of these you can open. So if you have privateer, you can open this one. If you have captain, you can open privateer and captain. And because we are admiral, we can open all three. And all three come with kits that we can redeem as well. So... I kind of want to grab the kits, but I know it's going to take up a lot of space in our inventory. But here's the brand new section. So we have our primary kits, which I'm thinking I'm going to invest in the mystery one at some point. Because it kind of seems interesting. You get... See, there's the unidentified essence. Oh, like ore essence. 
Oh, that's powerful. Okay, and we have undead kits. We can claim bu we can claim buccaneer in eight hours, but we can claim scorcher right now, which we're not going to. And we have all three rank kits, which also have level one to ten, which is really cool. I'm gonna open those after. I want to open up these crates first and see what we get. Crete's there watching. Let's see what we get, Crete. Let's go for the lowest one, privateer crate. Right click. <laughs> Thousand pearl bonus and three emerald essence level fives. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Captain crate. Oh, we got another thousand pearls. Oh, one treasure restock pass. That's worth 200 pearls right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's the big one. Creep knows it. It's the admiral crate. It's the admiral crate. What will it give? We'll twerk on it a little bit. Hopefully it gives us good luck. Three, two, one. Yes! Yes! Skill slot trinkets! I've been waiting for these! I've been wanting to use these so badly! One, when you put this onto an item, so like, if I show you guys my sword, skill slots used one out of three. If I were to put two more skills on there and they actually work and engage and all that fun stuff, we'll have three skills, all the slots will be used. This just lets you add a fourth slot and a fifth slot and a sixth slot. I don't know how many slots you can go up to. It's probably crazy. But we got pretty good items, and I think it's the bonus of opening it up for the first time. You get a thousand pearls from each. We have three thousand pearls. What? There's Jenny Bean. Hello, Jenny. Oh my goodness, we just got three thousand pearls. Okay, I think we should up. I think we're gonna boost Scorcher and Buccaneer. I'm definitely gonna boost Buccaneer because um, our boost didn't work last time, and we were given back the pearls to boost it. So I'm definitely going to start with this guy. Um, available again in 8 hours. I'm 7 out of 10. So boosting it should take me to level 9. And then it won't take too, too long to actually get it up to level 10, which is max. So I'm definitely going to boost the Buccaneer kit. It gives so many treasure chests. And that's really what I want it for because the new kit doesn't give any treasure chests. So I really like the treasure chest. It gives me something to open in an episode for you guys, which is always super, super hype. So we're going to boost it. Boost the current XP for your Buccaneer kit by at least one level. Excuse me? That changed. No, that's not fair, guys. I opened it when it said at least two levels, and I didn't get two levels, and now it says one level? I'm not okay with that. That should still say two levels, because I spent my money when it was at two levels. Maybe they did a fix because it was too overpowered. I'm not going to boost it then. I'm not wasting my pearls on a boost then. No offense, but, like, it did say at least two levels. And yeah, it's at least one level. They changed it. Hmm. That's interesting. Also, the Scorcher doesn't have a quest line. And I really kind of expected him to. He might have one tomorrow. So I think we're actually going to pull in our Scorcher set. And grab it. So left click to summon the kit and gain bonus XP. Right click to preview the contents. We're just going to left click. Let's bring it in. Oh my goodness. Smelt skill gem. We're definitely going to have to put that on a pickaxe. I mean, we already have smelt plus five. So that's really awesome. A free diamond sword to make um, a set onto... It's not that bad. I mean, the Emerald Essence 5 is going to be freaking awesome. Especially, I think I have in my vault a... Yes, I have the Insight plus 1 and Multiply plus 1. Though the Multiply was plus 3 at one point, And I put a 1 to 2 boost rune on it. And it went back down to plus 1. So I'm not very, very sure about that. But we can make a new one. I'm not too worried about that. We have to go to our island because there are so many rank kits that I need to collect. And it's just a lot of stuff. Hold on. So we're going to throw all of this into the chest right here just to clear some space up. We'll put these in here for now as well. And we do slash kit. Rank kits. Privateer. Left click to summon kit. Right click to preview the contents. Now let's see what level it's going to be. If we even get a level on the... If, like do we start at level one or is it going to roll random like it did before? So left click to summon it. Oh, here we go. One out of ten. Privateer kit. Left click to summon kit and gain bonus XP. So the same thing as usual. What level will we get? Two. Honestly, I'm okay with that on my privateer because that's the lowest level and the, it's not the best, um, best loot realistically. But we do get a recall elixir, major XP potion, decent pickaxe, and a bunch of iron enchanted gear with all the four different um, endurances on it. I don't know if it has... It just doesn't have the... Um, what's it called? In the environment one. Uh, elemental. But that's okay. So next level three. We're five out of 20 towards level three. Not bad. We can boost it for 630 pearls. That's pretty cool. Let's go for captain. 
level one. We got four experience on Captain. Four! Four! Oh my god. I think it's the same pickaxe. Oh no, it's a better pickaxe, actually. Just by a little bit. Everything's a little bit better. It's plus two. Okay. Okay. Can you- can we do super well on Admiral? Come on! Admiral rank kit, please! Please, let's do really, really well. Like, level seven. Okay? Three, two, one. Oh my god. I got five XP. These are so mean to me, but they all have plus two on all the endurance, which is really good. Charge and headless on the sword. Oh my god, what a diamond pick to work off of. Brisk plus one, magnet plus one, burial plus one, and multiply plus one. We might put a slot on this, if we can, and add our new, uh, our new enchant. What's it called? It's in here, right? Our brand new skill, smelt. Hmm, that could be fun. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's pretty crazy. I'm not gonna boost my kits in the end. Um, I'm a little sad that they that it moved from at least two levels to one level. Uh, but either way, I'm not gonna boost mine. I'm gonna hold off because there is one other really cool thing going on at spawn. Uh, not slashes go slash spawn. The last major thing in this update, um, one really cool thing while we fly over here, wherever it is, this way, is that I now have slash Nick as VIP. So hopefully that'll help in the war zone. Maybe. But this is the new cool thing. Sunken chess. What's it say? Discover keys in the open seas. Let's just put on our new gear. Discover keys in the open seas and redeem them here for rare treasures. Now, my understanding and what I got off of the server and everyone chit-chatting and the admins being online is that when it comes to the keys in the open seas and what they mean by that is you can get a treasure chest in the open seas and when you open that on your island, the keys are part of the legendary loot table. So anytime that you guys see in chat people getting um, legendary items, that could have potentially been a key, which is pretty cool. Um, the other way of getting them is through the key smith. So 500 pearls for tier one, 1,000 pearls for tier two, and 2,000 pearls for tier three. Tier three loot is crazy. You can always right click five treasure restock passes. Oh my god, tons and tons of awesome stuff. Four talent points, which would be really awesome. A little bit of a boost while you're going, which is pretty cool. Um, even the pickaxe and the sword are great. Brittle just means that you need to repair it more often. So it, it'll cost more in the long run. But if it has all the good enchants, it's not bad. It's not a bad pick at all. Um, level two, it's mostly the same stuff, just smaller like quantities. So here's 45,000 gold where this one was 60,000. And the tier one is at 25,000. But we're going to wait till next episode to try these out and see if we can get anything out of them. That I mean, almost all of the rewards in it are super, super impressive, guys. But either way, I really hope you enjoyed the brand new episode with the update. So much crazy stuff going on on the server. Everyone is just everywhere. Tons of people opening sunken chests or sunken treasures. Pete, make sure you do your daily login so you know we're going to be on the server every day. We're already on the server every day, but right now we definitely need to log in at least every 20 hours so we can get that daily login rewards for free loot. Because why not, guys? But either way, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and as always, see ya!